Now, this is one of my favorite apps to use because it tells you what to do. And it took me years to even notice that it tells you what to do. So if you see the phrase in the XY plane, that's a clue for consider using your graphing calculator. You're not going to use your graphing calculator 100% of the time when you see that, but a lot of the time when you see that. If you see in the XY plane, also consider just sketching the graph. But just remember in the XY plane, beep, 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 consider using your graphing calculator. In apps, connex, because we see that circle equation there, circles, and we're going to match it to the equation in the calculator. So this is in the second form here because nothing is factored for us. And we're going to press enter. And then we just plug in those numbers. So our X squared coefficient is two. Our X coefficient is negative six. And when you put in that negative six, you need to use the negative next to the enter button. If this app ever malfunctions for you, I'm going to put in the wrong negative on purpose here, that minus sign. And then I'm going to press graph. Oh, do you see how it says invalid input? If you ever get an invalid input error message, either in the Connex app or in another app, you probably use the wrong negative symbol. So we're going to use the negative six like that. And then C is two, C is my Y coefficient. And here comes the tricky part. Notice how in the calculator it equals zero, but in this question it equals 45. We have to make the question match the calculator. So you're going to subtract 45 from each side of this equation and get D is negative 45. Now this is one of my favorite apps to use because it tells you what to do. And it took me years to even notice that it tells you what to do. Do you notice here at the top in yellow, it says press alpha solve or graph. This is the only app where they give you the directions right there, the alpha solve. And it gives me the center and the radius. And this question just asked me, what is the radius? So the radius is five. The answer is A. If you were not using your graphing calculator to solve this, you would have to complete the square to get the radius to solve for it. But with the calculator, it's a game changer. 